Week four, we're going to know the Chester meeting. It's the Chester Cup, two and a quarter miles, not to one ten in the SO world. And big old field for this two more, two and a half furlongs at the top. We've got Rainbow Explorer for Leon Van Rensburg, Luxu Lian, Darren Thompson, Homeless Craig Beckwith, Aldermore Hitchens, Padraig Hogan, Bell Ringer, Joshua Sutherland, Take Back Control for Graham Clutterbuck, Larry Disselady for Padraig Hogan, Zephonic Bell for Graham Clutterbuck, Penny Fan Monty, and Dick Tina's Pact. For David Robertson, Prickly Harvest, Craig Beckwith, Strawberry Mist, Paul Parsons, Easter Sunday for Nick Driver, Super Six, Martin Lidham and Velvet Monkey for James Shea. A field of 15 then. All installed and ready to go and away they go. And short circuit and a long distance race. They've got to go around part of three times I think and it's take back control is in the league going to try and get over to the fence I think as they come up past the stand and the winning post they've got two full circuits ahead of them and it's Strawberry Mist who's got the lead from take back control and look to Leanne those three are clear at this stage of Prickly Harvest and Bell Ringer on court wide on the track is the grey Dick Tina's Pact the back marker early on is Velvet Monkey also towards the rear is Easter Sunday, but at the front of the field is Strawberry Mist and Luxu Lian, who are disputing the lead now. Luxu Lian goes on by virtue of having the rail. So it's Luxu Lian in the lead for Darren Thompson from Strawberry Mist in second. Take back control is in third. Bell Ringer is in fourth. Then Super Six just showing in fifth from Laradissa Lady and Aldermore Kitchens and Prickly Harvest. Rainbow Explorer. He's in that little group as well, looking to the back. Velvet Monkey is still just the back marker, and Dick Tina's Pact is still the one running widest on the track. But looks to Lian. He's clear in front. Leading by three to Strawberry Mist in second. Take back control is third. Bell Ringer four. And Super Six is five. And there's a line of three of them headed by the grey on the inside rail which is Penny Fan Monty, and next to that one, Prickly Harvest, Laradissa Lady is after that, the rest of them, and then virtually all in a big little group together, although the Leon Van Rensburg horse in the dark blue Rainbow Explorer took a forward step at that point, there's still 11 furlongs to go, so a long way to go, and uh, Luxu Lian is three lengths to the good, from Strawberry Mist in second, take back control third, they've been the one, two, three, pretty much all the way, Bell Ringer and Super Six are sharing fourth, between them is Penny Fan Monty, then after that, Lara Dissa Lady and Prickly Harvest with one that's making a bit of ground between them. Easter Sunday trying to get into it. Dick Tina's pack continues to be the one widest on the track and now Homeless has dropped to the back as they come up past the winning post again now. Just one more circuit left to go then now. And Luxu Lian is in the lead. Six, Super Six has moved through into second. Then Prickly Harvest is third. Dick Tina's pat on the outside is fourth. Strawberry Mist still there on the inside. Take Back Control is still there as well. So is Penny Fan Monty. Bell Ringer just lost its place a little bit. Rainbow Explorer is going to try and come around the outside. Easter Sunday seems to be travelling well. Aldermore Hitchens has now dropped to the back. But Luxu Lian is clearing the lead still by a good two to three lengths from Prickly Harvest in second and Super Six in third then Penny Van Monty and Dick Tina's back together with Take Back Control and Strawberry Mist still there as well Bell Ringer being squeezed up for room on the inside Rainbow Explorer being shook up the top weight they've got just over five furlongs still to go and Luxu Lian continues to lead by three lengths to Prickly Harvest in second Super Six is third now on the outside Take Back Control comes back into it Dick Tina's packed He's still there as well. Bell Ringer's trying to find himself a bit of a space. So to Rainbow Explorer. They're both going to need to burst their way through. Going to need a lucky lucky split to come. Looks like Bell Ringer might have got one. But it's Luxu Lian who continues to lead with just over three to go. Luxu Lian from Penny Fan Monty. Bell Ringer's now got a clear run in third. Then comes Take Back Control. Prickly Harvest is still there as well. Super Six is starting to backtrack. Laradis, a lady on the outside. He's trying to get into it. Dick Tina's packed. He's still there as well. But it's Luxu Lian is in the lead from Penny Fan Monty in second. Bell Ringer got a clear run but hasn't picked up at all. Then comes Bell, uh, Prickly Harvest, Dick Tina's back, Laradissa Lady up the centre of the track and inside the final furlong and now Penny Fan Monty comes to challenge for the lead. It's Penny Fan Monty who's gone on. Luxu Lian trying to fight back but Penny Fan Monty's in front. They're racing up towards one. Looks like Penny Fan Monty's going to take it. Penny Fan Monty's going to win it from Luxu Lian. Then Prickly Harvest, Bell Ringer after that one. Rainbow Explorer take back control. And nothing really came out of the pack there. 
apart from the David Robertson horse to wear down Luxulian. So Penny Fan Monty, a big fr big price winner of the Chester Cup for David Robertson. Penny Fan Monty, the winner. Luxulian second for Darren Thompson. Prickly Harvest was third for Craig Beckwith. Bell Ringer didn't go through, but it's run for Joshua Shutland in fourth. And Dick Tina's pact was no, it wasn't Larry Lady was fifth for Padraig Hogan. <laughs>